Let's discuss now this historic day in the United States with our regular panel, Peter McGoran and Emma Webster. Peter, first to you as a former Howard government minister, but a former diplomat to the United States. I know you watch this stuff very closely and, and I say it's an historic day. I don't think that's overstating it, is it, Peter? Uh, remarkable, Kieran. You have to put aside your incredulity at the whole situation as it's unfolded and try to work out what's going to happen next. Emma, do you think it's a game changer in the sense that we look at Trump and he mobilises that, that base, they're fired up and they want to vote, they turn out. Unlike our system, you've got to get people to show up in the first place, whereas ours is compulsory. Does Harris provide that for the Democratic Party? I think we've got to be really clear, um, and while it's very likely that Harris will be the Democratic nominee, it's sort of not locked in yet, and I think she needs to do a lot of work to um, to win over the Democrats and sort of get that um, primary process, perhaps a truncated version of that, um, under her belt first. I think that'll give her the mandate of the party. Um, but uh, in terms of, I think it was it was only last week that I sort of said it was game, set and match for, for Trump. Um, but I do think this opens up things. Um, in When it comes to representation alone, we've never had a woman of colour um, run. We've, um, we've never really had um, a woman with such a, an open opportunity uh, to take over um, the president's uh, role. I think this is a game changer um, and we've just got to see how it unfolds. We've got a, st a few more steps to, to go before that happens. Yeah, interesting step though for with Gavin Newsom, Peter McGoran, the Governor of California. He was seen as a possible contender for this. He came out today very quickly and endorsed Kamala Harris along with the likes of Bill and Hillary Clinton. Very telling Kieran, and that's the strongest pointer yet, that Kamala Harris is certain to be the Democrat nominee. Uh, Gretchen Whitmer, the governor of Michigan, is the only other potential rival for that nomination, and I'd expect her to come out fairly quickly. And in fact, Gavin Newsom, as governor of California, has stronger claims than I think even uh, Governor Whitmer. Um, look, the, the Democrats did the only thing they could do. Joe Biden could not win. We all knew that. They knew it. From here on in, as Emma suggests, it's uncharted territory. But um, the, remember, the Democrat Party is more akin to the ALP powers of intervention controlled by the federal executive than the Republican Party. They can uh, organise events with the 4,600 delegates going to the conference in four weeks' time than the Republican Party ever could. So I think Gavin Newsom is a declaration for Kamala Harris uh, is game, set and match. And, and so if that does m mean that, Peter, I'll get Emma's thoughts on this as well, but how does this play out then over coming months? If it is Kamala Harris, Peter McGoran, do you think this is going to be a competitive, a more competitive race in November? Yes, definitely. Um, sh sh she has significant deficiencies. She's been vice president for four years, so she may have improved her grasp of detail, her understanding of policy, but she was a hopeless candidate and uh, didn't get to face one single primary because she knew her candidacy uh, had, had, had self-destructed. So she doesn't have a strong track record and um, most people think she's a lightweight. All we know is this: she is going to be a much more, infinitely more for that matter, competitive candidate than Joe Biden would have been. Yeah, 